for HTTP. It can take, you know, you can take a COBOL copy book over MQ, or you know, you can mimic some other TCP IP protocols. So this is the guy that is a traffic cop. Uh, allows a federated deployment model. It's important because in the 90s, when EI, EAI world was around, the architecture was very much hub and spoke in a lot of these uh, EI products, which are kind of, you know, were, were uh, uh, kind of pre prerequisite to ESBs. So the, the ESBs really allow you a very flexible federated deployment model to um, kind of escape the single point of failure. Uh, so some of the products, again, to give you some reference, Apache Service Mix is a, a open source ESB, JBI compliant. Mule is another one. Uh, Sonic ESB and IBM WebSphere Message Broker, some of the examples of ESB products. And again, this is something very core to SOA from the infrastructure perspective, and this is something that you want to put in uh, into your enterprise as a prerequisite before uh, get, kind of getting, getting started with extensive SOA build out. Business rules engine. Here's another component that's important, uh, not often kind of uh, brought up. I mean, people think of it in terms of just, you know, having complex business rules. But, you know, it facilitates efficient rules processing and maintainability. That's number one. I mean, that's what rules engines do. But it's actually within the enterprise service bus or, or side of it, it, it can perform routing and transformation of data, right? V if you have complex rules. So it can perform quite complex, unlike, let's say, maybe XSLT, which kind of gets a little bit uh, unwieldy. Um, the other application in SOA uh, for business rules is centralized business rules service. Uh, essentially, the idea here is to take a lot of your organization's business rules and centralize them and you know, put them in a business rules engine and then expose that business rules engine as a standalone service. Um, some of the product exa examples, uh, again, that we're seeing out there is uh, JBoss Drools. Uh, it's an open source product. Fair Isaac Blaze, um, commercial, and IBM J Rules. Um, these are some of the rules engine. Again, it's an important part of uh, service-oriented architecture, especially on the infrastructure component. Requires skill sets um, you know, being developed uh, and also kind of its own care and feeding. Business process management. So this is a very sexy topic because business process management is something like it's the first thing that you do when you do so, right? You, you get a BPM engine, uh, you try to model your business process within this BPM engine. Uh, but it's, again, keep it in mind, if you don't have any atomic services, you don't have any services, you don't have anything to string together. So you don't want to end up in this EI hub and spoke scenario where your BPM engine is actually connecting to all your legacy systems and creating this process that's tightly bound to legacy. You want to use it for service composition, meaning once you've developed your atomic services, you want your business process engine to actually orchestrate these guys. And you want to let the ESB actually create the atomic services and talk to the legacy because that's really the separation. Uh, the other thing is a centralized business process service. Just like with the business rules engine, you want to start moving all of your organization's uh, business processes to like a centralized repository, right? And again, create a standalone business process management service where you can say, well, you know, this is my process and it, it will be remotely invocable. So that's, that's the other application of that. Ooh. Let me see if I can catch it. Something popped up. All right, here we go. Um, the other one is smart event-driven business process. That's, that's a very good example. So once we have events, and we talked about event-driven uh, architecture before. Once we have events, we want to make sure that uh, business processes can be invoked or triggered by these events. So for instance, an account changed, right? There might be a business process around um, you know, doing something with the account. So a business process service, uh, business process uh, engine will be uh, really triggered of the event. And some, some product examples, uh, again, what we're seeing out there being implemented, JBoss JBPM, uh, Pegasystem Smart BPM, Savignon, and IBM WebSphere Process Server. Again, important part of the SOA infrastructure uh, has to come in later rather than earlier into the, into the process, uh, unlike a lot of the implementation. But again, something to think about along the way. Governance, and this is a very often kind of brought up s subject, and I think there's confusion. There's governance software, there are processes, but essentially it's 
really split up in two parts. SOA governance, 